Essentially, The Daily Edited is a brand that monograms personalised items such as passport holders and bags. It's been incredibly successful at this Australian company, which is just awesome. Alice Tran and Tanya Liu started The Daily Edited in 2014. They only had $7,000 to start off with, but now it makes revenues just shy of $20 million. The two just started monogramming for fun. They didn't even know it was going to be a business. Apparently, they just started monogramming to get rid of boredom or just for something to do while they were studying at university. So today, we're going to go into the Daily Edited in Canberra. My friend Mia kindly allowed us to go visit her and see what she does on a day-to-day -day basis working for the Daily Edited. started the brand she's an amazing woman to work for like yeah I spent three weeks in Sydney um, learning to monogram and that kind of made me love working for the brand even more because I found out how much like hard work and how yeah. much effort actually goes into the online orders and everything yeah. Yeah, everyone loves it and like people like the look on people's faces when they see their item monogrammed it's just so nice yeah you've done something for them and something that they can look at every day and be like oh yeah, yeah. it's got my name on it yeah. my initials on it so yeah. that's really nice they were both lawyers and they started a blog and they had like seven items to sell it was like seven grand worth of stuff sold out in two days somehow and like Instagram is like the biggest thing for them that's how their brand took off so when they actually created the brand Elise became like the the Instagram like the yeah. um, marketing side of it and she's kind of the face of the daily edited they started it in the living room they monogrammed it by hand in their living room and yeah. then they both saved up two hundred thousand dollars each to make sure that if, in case the sales jumped off they had money to like lean on but in three years it became a 15 million dollar company that's that turning over 15 million dollars so is it started off slow I think because we were kind of hidden in David Jones yeah. there's not a lot of foot traffic Now that people know we had our promotion, um, so now that people know that we're there, it's definitely picked up. Not like a kind of company that you really have to sell the product because people come in, they take one look at it and they're like, yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. Like, so every day I get awesome customers that are yeah. so happy with what they want. As soon as we found, like, we got the go-ahead from David Jones, I was flown to Sydney and within, like, it was like within two days and I spent three weeks there, like, nine to five, Monday to Saturday, yeah. learning to monogram. Like, it is an intense process. People think it's easy. Like, like people come with random like Louis Vuitton pouches and they're like, can you monogram it? I'm like, no. Like, we've got specific measurements for every one of our products. Like yeah. it took me weeks to learn. Like I don't want to screw your item up. So keep an eye out for the daily editor.
Keep an eye out for those two very influential women who started such an incredible brand. A success story that just keeps growing and growing. All just because of two girls having a hobby and then starting a major company out of it. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.